Many of you have been wondering why I suddenly made the decision to start sharing explicit content on my Facebook page. Well, let me explain. A few weeks ago, I received a message from a fellow YouTuber named Joe Button. Joe is known for his popular podcast, where he conducts interviews with various individuals in the hip-hop music industry. Interestingly, Joe used to be a hip-hop artist himself, but his career didn't quite take off. Now he has turned to podcasting as a way to connect with big-name personalities, particularly those in the music industry. He has a strong disagreement with Drake in the entertainment industry, even going so far as to claim that one of Drake's songs references their beef. He expressed his desire for me to appear on his podcast, which I found to be quite peculiar. Collaborating with him would be an even stranger endeavor than my previous collaboration with General Sam. However, I decided to do some research on him, as I had not heard of him before. After looking into his background, he appeared to be a genuine individual. So, I thought, why not give it a try? I had no idea why he reached out to me, but maybe he's a fan of the channel. He appeared to be a credible guy, so I decided to answer his email. We scheduled a call a few days ago to discuss the details and plan for the podcast. I must admit, I don't know if Joe is involved in any way. It'll be fun, though. I must inform you that I've never had any communication with him before, so whatever has happened is likely beyond his control. However, based on my personal opinion, which is solely based on my own observations and not on any factual evidence, I strongly believe that this situation is the result of an incredibly complex and well-planned scam. As someone who considers themselves knowledgeable about the internet, I have never fallen victim to such scams before. I always like to think of myself as someone who is intelligent and astute enough to see through these tactics. However, if it turns out that this is indeed a scam, it would be a first for me. Two or three days ago, we set up a call at 2 hour. I had no idea about the devious and clever scheme, despite the presence of multiple red flags. Excuse me, but the red flags were all over the place. When the call started on Zoom, there was no video, which struck me as a little strange. To my surprise, Joe was not there. Instead, a person claiming to be one of his employees joined the call. This individual had a thick accent, possibly Indian or Pakistani, and seemed to possess extensive knowledge. The person I want to talk about is Joe, who had an incredibly persistent attitude. His pushiness reached such a level that it made me take a mental note. I decided that when I have the opportunity to speak with Joe, whether it's on this podcast or in a conversation, I will let him know that I have a negative opinion of his employees. I felt that he was highly disrespectful, dismissive, and extremely impatient. One of his suggestions was to optimize my Facebook page and ensure that all the correct settings were in place so that we could go live. During this pod interview, everything will now work for Facebook. It is common for me to have done these interviews before, so it's nothing unusual. I jumped on the call at two hours and we were probably on there for about 10 minutes. We went through the process doing a screen share. I was going through my Facebook, although I don't use it often, so I'm not that knowledgeable about it. He was instructing me on what to do while I was using it. Doing this and changing settings and doing that and, um, how it was left. We double checked everything. Joe will call you tomorrow. In the interim, I'll send over some paperwork for you to sign. We'll also provide you with all the necessary information about what this is about. I said, well, that would be great. Okay, we'll take care of it. So, I thought everything was done. Yesterday or the day before, when Mrs. W and I woke up, we started receiving hundreds if not thousands of messages. Why are you posting porn on your Facebook page? I received thousands of emails from the big fizz, the middleman. Mrs. W and I were very concerned about it. We tried to log into our account, but we were locked out and still don't have access. This is just my opinion, but it seems more than a coincidence. We were completely locked out of our Facebook page after it was hacked. It appears that someone used an invitation to a podcast as a means to gain access. I'm not sure how they did it as I didn't download anything or share any sensitive information or passwords. Nevertheless, this incident occurred, and we took immediate action. 
We went through all our accounts and changed the passwords, and we also contacted everyone in our network. At Facebook, we have a slow turning wheel, so I must reiterate that I am unaware of Joe's involvement in this matter. It is likely that he is also a victim, just like us, of the unfortunate circumstances where he was unknowingly used. I want to make it clear that I am not making any accusations, and it is possible that this incident has nothing to do with Joe. However, I find it suspicious that I have not received any further communication from Joe's supposed employee, and no contracts have been forwarded to me. The next day nothing that was promised to happen actually happened. In my opinion, it seems like this whole thing was an elaborate scam to gain access to our Facebook page, which we still don't have. I want to address this issue and also express my immense gratitude to the Big Fizz group. Many of you have reached out to us, and Mrs. W is incredibly thankful for your support in trying to help us. It's possible that someone within the group may have a contact at Facebook who can assist us in dealing with this situation. Our main concern is to eliminate any pornography from our page. It's unbelievable to me how difficult it is for Facebook to handle the issue of pornography on our page. I can't understand why they haven't been able to deal with it. It's been over 24 hours since this problem started, or maybe it was two days ago. I can't remember exactly. Either way, it's been a long time, and we still don't have access or control over our page. It's frustrating that someone hacked into it, and now we're left without any control. There are two things I want to achieve with this situation. First, I want to let everyone who has been emailing us know what's going on. We are extremely grateful for the support and well wishes from all of our subscribers. We have received numerous offers of assistance, and we truly appreciate every one of them. There have been several individuals who have come forward, having connections at Facebook offering their help. If you are one of those individuals, please reach out to us via email. We are open to any assistance we can get. Unfortunately, I personally do not have any contacts at Facebook who can assist me with this matter. This is the current situation we are facing. Additionally, my second objective is to achieve the following. If you happen to be a content creator, be cautious when receiving invitations from creators like this as it may pose a risk to your account. I must admit, I am not very knowledgeable when it comes to technology and computers. You can ask Mr. Overton, he can vouch for that. The fact that I make a living online is quite a miraculous thing, isn't it? But that's the reality. As of now, I am recording this and will upload it. If you're watching this now, you know it probably happened about half an hour ago. I apologize if you had to deal with that. But that's the world we live in. I don't understand what anyone is trying to achieve with this other than just trolling. That's why things are happening on the YouTube channel. May God bless you and your families. Please keep us in your thoughts. Hopefully we'll see you all on the next video and uh, prayers that we'll see you on Facebook too.